So Travis, you and I talked before, and you know, the world knows you from television. They don't know all the other stuff you did, but you've had security clearances, high level, doing work for different agencies for a long time. Yeah, I started working uh, for the uh, Army, uh, gosh, I was 17, actually. And I've been a scientist for, or an engineer for the Army ever since. There's a, a, a about seven years in, in my life where I uh, went into private sector and worked for the intelligence community as a contractor. And then I went back into civil service and uh, I've been doing that uh, my whole life and I've had a security clearance for decades. Did you need permission to be the scientist on TV? Oh yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, before I uh, was on TV, uh, I also write science fiction novels. And I remember my first science fiction novel, they made me give it to security and they w went through it to make sure that there wasn't anything that was uh, too close to what I was doing at work or that might be sensitive in nature. Uh, and, uh, and after about my third or fourth novel, they, they, it was too much work for them so they quit worrying about it. Did you have to tell them, hey, this is the parameters for what I'm going to do on television. I'll be the scientist and I'll be a debunker if it's necessary. And every single time uh, uh, I would go on TV or as a, a, any kind of news uh, uh, appearance or anything like that, I would always tell them, you know, I'm doing this, I'm going to say uh, things. And, and uh, depending on which legal person they had me talk to uh, at, a, at each time, what I was told I could and couldn't say was different every time. They didn't really have a, a good standard uh, thing, just don't don't say anything. You're not giving an official uh, a DOD uh, statement, you're giving a Travis Taylor private citizen statement. And that's uh, typically how I always treated it. And in some cases, I could say I work for DOD, then they would change their mind, say, no, you, you work for the Army, and then they change, no, don't say Army, just say defense uh, uh, industry. When you started working at Skinwalker, and we've talked about this before, you were an arch skeptic. You were skeptical about some of the weird stuff that had gone on there, correct? My my actual uh, notion was that there were some bad actors doing some things. Uh, maybe it was Russian, maybe it was Chinese, maybe it was just some uh, kids with some new toys, uh, or maybe even the Skinwalker uh, people were uh, doing something to sell books and TV shows. Bigelow, yeah, maybe. Big, Big, yeah, Bigelow, maybe. Were you aware about OSAP and that program when you started working on the on the ranch? Uh, when I started working on the ranch, I uh, had I knew there were programs, but I didn't know exactly who was doing it and what. And I had been uh, trying to reach out to them for a while uh, uh, and and figure it out. And I actually wrote a book. On, uh, on how you would defend the planet if there was an alien invasion and that there should be an actual organization preparing uh, and studying possibilities. Uh, and, and I did, detailed out what that organization would be like using my defense knowledge, defense industry knowledge and how those things work. And I, I find out later uh, that uh, the organizations that were created were uh, uh, almost just like the chapter in my book that describes it. And, 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 and uh, 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 Jay Stratton, is, uh, he actually has a copy of that book and has used it. So, Did you have any idea that you would eventually work for the kind of program that you were describing? Well, uh, when, I, when I wrote the book, I, I, uh, I always said in public, but this is my resume. Anybody out there that's uh, doing this work, I'm, I'd be happy to help. Can you talk to me about the day that somebody came and asked and you took, took you up on that offer? It was, uh, it was really interesting. Uh, so some of the things that happened at Skinwalker Ranch, um, I was, uh, in tw or early 2019, I, I was concerned that they might have had defense, uh, uh, national security issues involved with it. So I uh, asked for a meeting with some folks at the Pentagon that I uh, reached out through mutual colleagues, and I went and briefed them on some of the information and then at the time, uh, they said they checked my clearances and all, and we were talking in a in a room where we could talk, uh, you know, national security uh, things. And uh, at that, it was at that point where I was invited to to join the team. In what capacity? Well, at first I wasn't wasn't sure, but uh, within a couple of weeks, uh, uh, Jay Stratton, the director of the UAP task force, asked me if I would be interested in being the chief scientist. And, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, of course I would. I mean, you're the chief scientist for the UAP task force, and you're the guy as the scientist on Skinwalker Ranch. People's heads are going to explode when they realize that. Yeah, I, I, and, and you know, there's nothing, I wasn't hiding anything from anybody. Uh, we weren't sure of the sensitivity of, of uh, our positions. 
and and there was uh, public affairs issues, you know, and there was also the question of, uh, you know, are we prepared to handle the uh, the press response and the Freedom of Information Act response and all these things? It wasn't uh, because it was all cloak and dagger, you know. Do you find it as at all a conflict of those two, two roles? You're working for the UAP task force, looking at big picture stuff, and then being specific to the ranch. Um, is it you ever have trouble wearing two hats at the same time? Well, while I was uh, so I'm, I'm recently retired from the government and I'm working in a private uh, company now. But uh, while I was doing, I had to be real careful not to violate either NDAs. The NDAs that I had with the with uh, Brandon Fugel and the History Channel. Uh, at Skinwalker Ranch and the NDAs with the, with the government. Uh, but what I did was, uh, it was mutually uh, uh, beneficial to both parties because I understood bigger picture stuff from being with the government and then I also got to be in the laboratory hands-on at Skinwalker Ranch and both of them were very important. 